The Senate, through its Committee on Power, has questioned the Ministry of Power and Power Settles under its purview about the reason for the incessant grid collapse in the country. Chairman of the Committee on Power, Senator Gabriel Soswan, expressed disappointment over the inadequacy of the ministry to address the occurrence. Our correspondent completes the report. The national grid has collapsed for the third time since the year began. The latest, the ministry said, was caused by vandalism on the transmission tower on the Odupani Ikotekpene 330 kV double circuit transmission line, leading to a loss of about 400 megawatts of generation. The instability of the grid has led to epileptic power supply leaving parts of the country it serves, including Abuja and Lagos, without power. Uh, Odupani was shut down in the same as a result of the same problem, which caused a loss of 575. The total of that is 4,665. <clears throat> well, it then means that what TCM we're trying to do is to say that they are not the cause of the system collapse. I'm really finding it difficult to to, fight, to see or to hear that we have uh, so many uh, grid failures over a period of some years now. And yet, as policymakers, you didn't sit down to articulate a position that would address these issues. Delegations from the ministry speak. If all of a sudden, for instance, there has been a stormy weather and, you know, an appreciable quantum of power is lost, due to massive feeder tripping. Feeder tripping when in your home, you no longer have supply just because it is threatening to rain. This can create another problem. And when this happens, the frequency will rise and will have instability issue. First problem on the grid, or one of the problems, vandalization. And we are, we are putting in place a new technology driven surveillance. We have, in fact, the, the, actually we have a pilot phase just to start from uh, Lokoja to um, Abuja to Lokoja uh, 330 kV. That's practical actions on, on what we are doing. The power ministry said the outage had occurred overnight as a result of vandalism. It gave no estimate of when the grid, which says around 117 million people, would be back in full operation. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.